So a lot of our lessons at home are gonna involve like learning things, learning. So some days and when we have lessons, we won't be riding, which is today for Sophie because her horse is lame. Anyway, so today we're gonna practice uh, doing Finn's feet. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of what he's like when we try and do his feet. problem with thin I'm gonna show it to you guys be careful so he's doing better now but when we do stuff to him that he doesn't like like he's terrified because he we're touching his cut this one this I one know. he can kick me the I know. other one he can't go like so, that so he is a baby like he's a sensitive soul like if storm had storm had a gash and barely flinched he is so stoic this guy, not so much. <laughs> Storm wanted to work because he was tired of not working. Yeah, like Finn is a baby and that's probably a lot of his issues is that he doesn't like anything that's not, that, like he's picky. See, you can't hit me. See? So Fiona's gonna help us deal with it. The person that sold, us to us, sold him to us did tell us about his issue with his back feet. He showed us how to do it. But I find like the more comfortable he gets here, the worse he gets. He's shaking and shivering. Like we need somebody absolutely to work with him. Because this is not safe for us. All right, get him tacked up and then Fiona will help us with his feet. Okay, on your hand. So, so run your hand down. The problem with his feet. Ah, good boy. He's like, don't tell her to do that. The problem with his feet is that we're scared. Yes. Like it's us that it's needs lessons. Feet. He's horrible with them. But it's it's a. I mean, he, he was horrible before when we tried him, but we did it the way he told us. And remember to hold his hoof, honey, so you give him a little more stability. And the higher you hold it, the easier it will be on him to not put his foot down. That's it. If you hang his knee, it'll be difficult. Dig it out. He's got lots of clay packed in there. Yeah, because we couldn't do it yesterday. We do our other horses, but we don't do him very much. Good boy. There you go. Alright, so show me how he does for his back feet. He's gonna be a little iffy right now because of his sore leg. Yep. Yeah? Just touch him all over. Just rub his leg for a minute. Don't even ask to pick it up. Just rub his leg inside and outside. Come here. Good boy. Ruby. That's it. Go. Now I want you to ask him to pick it up. Yep. Yep. There you go. <laughs> he says, I'm not so sure if I want so to. So he's that. being calmer now that you're here because normally he's not this calm. He's never. So once okay, the so then he picks it up like that. Right? So did he threaten to kick you? No, he just picked it up really fast, right? So he's not sure what you're going to do. That's part of it. So every time he picks it up fast, he gets you to move away and you don't touch his foot again. So what have we taught him? But if he does that, he doesn't get his foot picked up again. He's not dumb. He's very smart. Yeah, that is so what we taught him. So now he thinks that he's just going to go, ha ha, don't touch me. Ha ha, don't touch me. Ha ha, don't touch me. So can you give me a Libra? So I'm going to ask him to pick his foot up. I'm not hurting him. I'm just putting pressure on his leg. Hmm. Notice I haven't let pressure off until he picks his foot up. There's no pressure when he picks his foot up. But he's not kicking out, right? He just has to learn that it's okay to pick up his foot. And he doesn't need to do it quickly. Good boy. Pick up your foot. This is a safe way that you're not in the way of getting hurt. Yeah, that's good. Okay? Well, I'm going to do this until really he picks it up slowly. Yeah, good that boy. was good, huh? Good so good. Boy. Oh, that was good. But it's a lot better. I'm gonna put down. Good boy. So this way, doesn't matter what he does, I can't get hurt. 
Worst case scenario, I drop the rope. Right? He's just gonna say, oh, I can put my foot down. Right, and he's not afraid of stuff. He doesn't care that this thing is on his leg. I put a towel over him. I know. So we're gonna ask him again. I'm gonna put pressure on his leg. Good oh, boy. good boy. Right, so he so tried. Now, out. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask him like I would as I pick up this. So I'm gonna put my hand in here because wouldn't it be nice if you walked up to him and said, give me your foot. And he went, here you go. Okay? If you walk up to Hope and you ask her to pick her feet up, you go like this. And she lifts her foot up and holds it there and waits for you to grab it. So we'd like to maybe teach him to do that. Wouldn't that be nice? So we're gonna tell him. Good, Good boy. boy. So you told him and lifted, pulled the rope at the at same, same time? time. Yep. Right. So, so that's put, your homework. So I'm going to put pressure and I'm going to tap. Aha! Good much good smarter. Boy. This time I'm going to grab it. So I'm going to ask. And I'm going to grab it. Good boy. And he's never, when he pulls it away from you, he's not threatening to kick you. Okay, if he was threatening to kick you, he'd pull it up behind like this and he'd pin his ears at you. He does do that <laughs> when you're not he here. He pins his ears at me when I, like, walk up to him in the field. Pins his ears at you? That's yeah, new. Okay. So you're not going to hold it yet. What I want you to do, I'm going to help you. You're going to take this hand and knock on his leg. Put your hand, this hand down here and see you're closer. Okay? Knock on his leg and we're going to pull. And then just wait. Yeah. Good boy. And then set it down. See how he's not yeah. as good at it with, with us, though? It's confidence. It is confidence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys think he's going to kick you, but he's not. He's just like, Listen. So now he's just resting. So you're going to kind of say thank you. What a good boy. Yep. And as soon as he picks it up, release the pressure. Good yeah. boy. That was the best one. So this time you're going to go hold the rope steady. So you're going to go and wait and wait. Okay? So hold the pressure. Oh, he was close. Yep. Good boy. Yeah. Closer down on this honey, so you can get pulled better. Yeah. Wherever you think you're going to tap him, you tap him the way you would. And pull on that rope. Don't lean on him, pull on the rope. That's it. That's it. Let him deal with it for a second. And then set it down. Good girl. Tap, tap, and pull. Yes. And set it down. Good job. And ask him again. Good boy! Now try just tapping. And a little pull. Yeah. Yeah. Pull harder, he's ignoring you. And hold the pull. Pull and hold. Pull and hold. Pull harder. There you go. Good job. So you just increase the intensity. You just say, I asked the first time without any pull. Now I'm going to pull and ask. Now we don't let go of the pull until he puts up his foot. So go ahead. Ask first. Now pull and ask. See? Yeah, oh, good boy. Good job. So he knows because as soon as she asks, he starts to do it. And yes. then he realizes that she didn't pull. So exactly. he's not going to do it. So ask him again. Good job. What a good boy! <laughs> That's the first time he's ever just lifted his foot good up for boy. us. Good boy! It's like I'm doing what you want. See how he, he shakes okay. so? Drop good the rope. Good boy! He doesn't need, he the doesn't rope. need the rope. So, turn and face like you're going to pick up his foot. Bend over and tap his leg. Yeah, tap, tap. Yeah, and I love him. Good boy! And tap him again. He really responds to confidence. Yep. Almost. Are you going to make a liar out of us? He says yes. <laughs> okay, so wrap your rope around him. He gave up. He gave up sooner than we wanted him to. So don't pull on it or he'll lift his Yay, yeah, good boy. <laughs> good boy. All right, and stand up. Good boy! <laughs> He's like, fine. If you put the rope on, I'll just do it. So you don't need this end, just drop on the ground. Yep. Now tap, tap first. And then pull. You gotta change hands though, remember. And then pull till he lifts. Don't lean on him. That's it. Good boy. It's not your leaning that gets him up. 
Oh. Good boy. Keep pulling. There. Good job. It's his worst leg. Good. And now set it down. So in all of that, what did you, how did it feel? Good. Good? And what was he doing? Helping me to get up. Yeah? Was he trying to pull it away a little bit? Yeah. Was he trying to kick you? Yeah. No. He just wasn't sure. So he's like, what are you trying to do to me? In the rope. And now pick it up. You pick it up. That's it. Yeah, and hold it. You got Why? it. There you go. Not so bad, eh? Good boy. Okay, set it back down. Come here, grab it. You got it. So that's why we don't feel safe is because of all that moving around and it puts us off balance. That's right. I think too when he flicks his tail it, it creates that trigger response of a horse is going to do something. He does the swishing of the tail more so to just scare you. Yeah. Like, that's, ah, does yeah. this work? Yeah. Because it, once it's like he's perfectly fine. Okay you got to get all that dirt out there. So that's where he would have had the, the problem right? Hold on to it. Good job. You can put it up on your knee if you need to. Good boy. What a good boy. It's packed right in there. Yeah, I need to help. It's like cement. Hold his foot. So, last try. He's learned so better already. Look how, how easy that was. Okay, do it one more time while I got rid of the tail. Okay. Good boy. Good job. Give him some love. Three times a day. Three times a day. And you have Not to do it. Not before he's supper. eaten. No, we know. You have breakfast, lunch, and supper. Yes. So they're down here. That's right. Well, supper is too hard. We could probably swing twice a day. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.